Christians and atheists spend a lot of time mired in red herring arguments. They're red herrings because, no matter which way the argument is decided, it wouldn't make any difference to anyone's justifications for atheism or theism. For example, a certain brand of Christian and a certain brand of atheist spend enormous amounts of time debating a literal reading of Genesis as if it were hugely consequential to the issue of whether or not God exists. But it's not. Even if it could be established that the Earth is only 6,000 years old, and all the creatures of the Earth appeared fully formed shortly afterwards, it wouldn't change the terms of the debate at all, since, according to atheists, God is never a rational inference, and inferring a creator from a 6,000-year-old Earth would be just another God of the Gaps argument. But if it's some hugely improbable occurrence crying out for a designer we want, we don't need to hang our hats on a 6,000 year old Earth, since something vastly more improbable has already happened, and what's more, it's something we could observe in the here and now. 14 billion years ago, our universe came into being, observing a fixed set of laws elegantly described by mathematics and intelligible to our reason. These laws were bound by a set of constants so finely tuned that to alter any one of them to the slightest degree would result in a universe that either pulls apart instantly in a big rip or collapses in on itself instantly in a big crunch. Just one of these constants, the cosmological constant, is finely tuned to a degree of 1 in 10 to the 120th power. It's the reciprocal of a number greater than the number of atoms in the universe multiplied by the number of seconds since the Big Bang squared. And that's just one finely tuned constant of many. Now according to atheists, or at least the honest ones, these constants are finely tuned for no particular reason at all, in physical laws that are mathematically describable and intelligible for no particular reason at all, governing a universe that exists for no particular reason at all. That's a scenario that truly beggars all belief. Now, of course, atheists will accuse me of making a God of the Gaps argument, but the point is not that science can't explain these things, but rather that the existence of a creator and designer of the universe can explain these things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.